Wow, all those stories. So many stories upon stories about Red, her impact on our lives, and on so many lives. People not here, Mary Ann in Shanghai <laughs> witnessing. Red loves stories. I think she understood herself through story and also the world through the stories that she heard and told. And there will be many, many more stories coming out of this group here and all the people that went through ITP. Stories bump into stories and make new stories, changing even the way the world is. You know, um, in Zen there's a saying about life and death, that life is like a floating cloud that appears out of the vast universe. And death is like a floating cloud that disappears back into the vast universe. And this floating cloud that we honor today, that has disappeared apparently from our lives, has left behind all kinds of gifts for us. Gifts with no stipulations, no rules or instructions. Rather, a pathless path for us to follow, determined by our own imagination. Perhaps her greatest gift was her fearless example. Follow our heart. Offer friendship. Be aware of social justice. Be curious about the mystery of life and live it fully. Let's take a few moments right now in a kind of uncharacteristic way of quiet reflection. Let's just take a few minutes to integrate the gifts we've heard about today and the gifts that we embody that Red gave us through her life and offered to any of us who are willing to receive them. Let's just take a moment. You too, while floating in this life, can offer such wisdom to others. May you do so. <laughs> 